Step one is the ultimate STEM project. Finally, it's the Singapore Grand Prix. I'm super excited. Just have to finish up the school day and we'll be on our way. The Singapore Grand Prix was amazing, way beyond my expectations, which is pretty crazy because there was so much built up hype for this three day weekend. So like most new F1 fans, I got hooked after watching the Netflix series Drive to Survive, where I got to get a better understanding of the people involved in the sport, a window to the drama that happens, and the engaging stories of racers and teams documenting the development of the F1 circuit almost in real time. But what really hooked me is the sports technical side of things. The incredible engineering, the application of complex science and mathematical concepts, and the use of advanced technologies. Cars that are, according to ArsTechnica.com, accelerating from 0 to 190 miles per hour in about 10 seconds, going around corners where drivers experience g-force close to that of an Apollo astronaut during Earth re-entry and then decelerate by 60 miles per hour in just 0.7 seconds. According to the former managing director of Renault Sports F1 team, it takes 1,000 people to design, build, and operate these F1 cars that consist of over 20,000 parts. I think I'm also into F1 because of my passion for STEM education. As a STEM specialist, I see a lot of STEM characteristics within the sport of F1. The acronym STEM does not signify a course, a program, or a discipline. It is a teaching approach used to design real-world, student-centered learning contexts that incorporate opportunities for students to develop and apply knowledge and skills from multiple subject areas, specifically from science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Here are the STEM characteristics that you will find in STEM learning experiences. First, STEM learning involves a real-world learning context, and within this context, there is a performance project or task that requires the application of knowledge and skills to create a tangible product or perform something that achieves a particular goal. These performance projects or tasks involve the knowledge and skills from multiple disciplines, particularly the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics disciplines. These sets of knowledge and skills from multiple disciplines are essential to the completion of the performance project. This all leads to STEM literacy, which is the ability to apply concepts from science, technology, engineering, and mathematics to solve problems that cannot be solved using a single discipline. It is the process of finding solutions within the real world context and performance project that requires interdisciplinary STEM concepts and skills, not just from one discipline. In addition to these sets of knowledge and skills, 21st century skills are at play. Learning that involves communication, collaboration, creativity, critical thinking, and problem solving. All of this learning centers around the student, where students get to think about and decide on what they learn, how they learn, and how they demonstrate their learning. Encouraging student agency, autonomy, and independence. And finally, these STEM experiences develop students' STEM identity where students think about themselves as science learners and develop an identity as someone who knows about, uses, and sometimes contributes to science. Not just science, but other disciplines in STEM. All of these STEM characteristics are interconnected and work together to establish a meaningful STEM learning experience. F1's real world context is that it is the highest class of international racing competition and the performance project or task is to design, build, test, and race the fastest cars in the world for the world's most prestigious and popular motor racing competition. To design, build, and race a Formula One car requires the knowledge and skills from multiple disciplines, an actual mixture of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. 
In Anna McGrath's video, How a Formula One Race Car Works, it shows how STEM concepts are applied to design, build, and program parts, like support structures, suspension, the engine, and sensors to create a car that is ideal for aerodynamics, steering, braking, cooling, safety, and energy recovery. Embedded within this ability to apply STEM concepts are 21st century skills that help these F1 teams effectively build their cars in innovative ways. Teams in F1 are always pushing innovation, where teams and its members are required to practice agency to be the catalyst for innovation. With strong STEM identities, seeing themselves as scientists, technologists, uh, engineers, and mathematics, all at the same time. I think it's important for educators to always have an eye on what is happening outside of education. We can get stuck in our own education world of standards, assessments, and units. We should look to see how the academic concepts students learn are present and applied in projects and tasks done by professionals or people in general in their daily lives. Helping students see how these concepts can come alive outside of lessons and tests. Educators, especially STEM specialists, can look to real-world contexts like F1 and use them as guides when designing learning experiences. Ask yourself what real-world context would require the application of the concepts students are learning in school. Are there concepts at play from multiple disciplines? And then embed the STEM characteristics into the learning experiences. This process and thinking follows a design approach for innovative education that I call edupermaculture. Check the link in the description to learn more about the approach. Thank you so much for watching. I really love how I get to share my life and thoughts about education with you. Like always, stay perpetually in beta and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Oh yeah, if you ever go to the Singapore Grand Prix, I recommend wearing sneakers that you don't mind getting a little wet.